Hey, howdy, hey. Sorry about the weird screen there. Um, I'm too lazy for the hockey. Uh, so, I have been at hard at work. Or whatever. And I have been working on... Um, uh, I don't know the correct terminology. A new different kit for a game that doesn't really have a story or a line to it. I've just been working on the core components of a different style of FPS uh, that I've been getting into that uses TPS and FPS, so it uses the uh, uh, mechanism driven animator instead of just a like uh, uh, floating arms. Uh, yeah, so nothing real beautiful here. Uh, I was in graphics by the way, I just kind of borrowed some engine graphics and you know they're well enough for the uh, testing purpose. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically what it uses is it uses the IK uh, controlling system. So uh, his seat are actually um, using a IK mechanism type system. IK loc it uses a locomotion as the correct terminology. So. Uh, the weapon and everything is all positioned by a IK value. So from his hip to his aim, you can see the shadow is the best way to just tell why we're in test mode. You can see that uh, you can see these little cubes, or that blue cube at least in our uh, FPS view. Um, that's actually the controllers on which to be placed for the gun. Uh, there's a little twitch uh, at the moment. Um, this gun is a, yeah, I do have a complete, well, not complete, but the system's pretty much down for a ranged weapon. So I'm making it all complicated. I am tired. I have a different shift these days. So, um, yeah. So you can aim down, even though it's a little strange. Uh, you know, there's a lot of polishing that needs to be uh, worked in. Yeah, you can shoot. So, uh, for example, this gun type is an automatic. You can only see it on the orange blocks here, which I needed to switch, but that's okay. And these are just little squares representing whole decals. But you can see that the gun is actually working it does have a accuracy even though the accuracy is pretty pinpointed to an absolute so yeah um or so you, you know you got jumping all that kind of stuff you got crouching um you also have an automatic crouching which i don't have anything to show you with um but I'll pop something in so yeah you do have an ik foot system um, so that was one thing I needed, because it looks much better once it actually gets into the game. Ignore the sounds, they kind of make it hard for me to even explain anything. So yeah, he moves up things. You can see the foot placement actually working. Interestingly enough, uh, you can crouch with input, even though stairs are really hard to see but, yeah, you can easily see where the foot gets placed on the ramp there um, so pretty much the hard part is almost complete uh, I want to add things since I have the capabilities of IK now like ropes and you know fun stuff like that but I just I'm kind of left off here Sounds so sad, don't I? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. Mm. There's a whole bunch of code, but it's just a lot for me to explain. So, let's see if this is, I don't think that's tall enough for my automatic crouching to work, but almost. Yeah, it actually is. I just had to bend my head down, which don't make much sense. Oh, come on. 
I need uh, obviously the crouching um, I already had in mind needs to be reworked it's a little touchy when you pull your head up like that uh, the collider uh, a little off I do say so because my head should be here but when my head is down I couldn't decide it didn't really make much sense for it to move down and up like that so, yeah, there you go, you just kind of crawl through things. Essentially, it makes sense not to make any sense, so it's like you keep your head down. Oh, da, 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 da. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Also, um, you can see if I get close to an object, he does put his weapon at a holster, which will be little different. I'll have a value where he actually moves it to a custom value. So, kind of like a peaking idea that I'm starting to get into. So, if you're like behind something, for example, you know, you, you don't run up to something and smash your gun into it, you know, some little nicks. So, he hide. Gives you kind of like a idea of what's going on. It makes sense that way. Um, so not only will this idea, I kind of wanted to do it this way because I was like sitting there making an IA and I was like AI or whatever. <laughs> oh, I, you can tell that I'm just kind of zombified. Um, yeah, I won't go there. But uh, yeah, so it's fun. Get to shoot things. Yeah. Like that, motherfuckers. Yeah. My ray cast looks a little off, though. But yeah, so it's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Um, that was fun, wasn't it? Alright, kids. Um, have fun. I will get there to this, I think it's going to be a horror game, but I really wanted to get the mechanics down, and so it's going to be a while, as soon as I get the mechanics down though, we'll, we'll have fun, Doo -doo -doo. oh, see, that needs to be fixed, I shouldn't be doing that, also, um, if you watch the other tutorials, I, you know, there's things like hand placement against the wall, stuff like that. It's all the fun stuff that comes with uh, Unity's IK mechanism system. And it makes it really easy to do stuff like that. But, yeah. Uh, our Y-Bot man here. It's amazing. Alright, have fun, guys.